Hello guys, and welcome to D.E. Piranesi. One of my favorite classic Counter-Strike maps, honestly. I mean, already we're off to a great start. Look at this. Such a beautiful river, dude. I love T-Spawn on this map, but... You know, today we're going to be just kind of doing a walkthrough. You know, there's a trend going on with liminal spaces and, and kind of exploring, you know, empty multiplayer maps, especially source-based maps. But, you know, I wanted to, to take a moment and walk through some of the, the older maps, you know, Gold Source especially, because I feel like it isn't really talked about enough. Uh, you know, granted, Gold Source is just an earlier iteration of the Source Engine, but you know, it has its own its own feeling to it, just the lighting and, and everything like that. And I'd almost kind of attribute it more to, to like the Quake engine in relation. Um, but yeah, I mean, already we're we're kind of getting these liminal vibes here. And one thing that immediately jumps out to me is the skybox. It's it's such a bizarre but beautiful yet melancholic skybox and. A lot of it is just this overcast kind of sunset here and you know this is a very very common thing they did in Dark Souls which you know it reminds me a lot of is you know these beautiful vistas but there's there's such a empty yet melancholic feeling while looking at it um but yeah we'll we'll talk about that a little bit later but um you know already the architecture yeah it has that source engine you know realism but you know, just a tad bit blocky. You know, granted, a little bit blockier than the the Source Engine, but you know, the detail is incredible. You know, for for a game as old as it is, <laughs> as it is, I mean, it's it's fantastic. Just the visual fidelity here, and you know, it's oddly quiet too. I, I should state it's there's like no ambient noise right now, which which adds to the surrealism of it. Well, oh my God, there's a dog, but you know, I say that and then. You know, you, you hear a dog, but yeah, I mean, just such a, a crazy looking, looking building, this castle. But you know, there, there's there's scary things about this. Like, there's such a scary feeling about entering a room like this, where you know you have the doorway here, and you can just tell there's no light source at the other end of the room. You can't even quite see the end of it, and you can already tell that that it goes on a little bit because the light from the window isn't, isn't penetrating it and just a really dark corner. You know, that, that's another thing to comment on is just how well the, the gold source engine's lighting system is. I mean, this is this is incredible what it's able to do here, the, the interplay between light and dark. But we'll save this room for a little bit later. Um, I believe this is up to the, the battlements. Or no. It's another window. I haven't played this map in forever, but yeah, I mean this this room has the same feeling, you know, you do have very dark kind of corners and you're entering the room without being able to see the opposite end of it, you know, the opposite corner, so you just have this feeling of like kind of almost mystic dread, I guess, if that makes any sense, but um yeah, I mean, it's, it's such an eerie feeling, specifically this map. This is one of the most just ambient maps when it comes to the, the feeling of playing it and, and just the, the overall aesthetic, too. It, it dives into this very, like, Central European castle-like architecture and... Yeah, wow. You know, getting a better look at the skybox from up here, you know, it, it has that that same feeling of of those pictures that are online, you know, the the ones that look look like they're a collage of things that are familiar and they, they have like a shape to them where you're like, Oh, I can almost kinda tell what this is, but it's nonsensical. You know, I'll throw some pictures up on screen of what I'm talking about right now, but you know, it, it has that like low fidelity feature where it's like you can tell it's mountains and you can tell these are trees here, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, you know, it's it's very familiar, but 
there isn't any detail you can really grasp, which all of these older Gold Source games have. But Yeah, I mean, it's just, it really is such a beautiful map. So many intricate areas and... I'm coming down a B site too, it's such a bizarrely designed kind of area. Oh, and you know, just this right here, this this looks like something out of a dream, like this still shot here, you know, you have the three arches and kind of the side passageway. Um, you know, I feel like I've been in this situation where, you know, I'm granted with all of these, these open spaces and almost kind of options to to walk towards, but you can never kind of see see what each of these options are, these routes. Um, and you know, it, there's something very almost like foreboding looking at this, you know, there, it's dark inside there and you know, especially this, this little uh, side passage, this alley almost, you know, the, the walls are so high, it's kind of blocking out some of the sunlight, all you're getting is this ray casted here and that's a very, very surreal image. You can kind of get the same thing, you know, coming over here as well, you know, it's, it's another good example of kind of a place I've almost seen in my dreams. Um, you know, it's, you can tell it's a castle, but the, the closer you look at the architecture, you're like, well, it doesn't make quite sense. It just it has that dreamlike logic to it uh, that makes it so so charming yet bizarre. So you very much get the same kind of vibe over in CT spawn and. You know, just the entrance to it as well, it's, it's such a bizarre looking area. And you know, immediately when you walk in, you're, you're greeted with these tall, towering walls and you know, these very dark windows. I feel like people could open up these windows and spy on me. I mean, this entire map honestly feels like people should be here and, and almost like people were here. Uh, but they they decided to run and hide the minute they saw me and you know, this is another example of just height interplay here You know, especially if you come out to, to a spot or a site here and look in it's I feel like I've been in a dream where I've seen this and you know, you look up and you're just You're wanting to get to the sunlight, but you can't because the walls are so tall, you know, they're blocking out all available sun But yeah, let's uh let's head back inside the castle now and we'll, we'll check out some of the interior stuff. You know, this is a great example of, of what I was talking about where it feels like people were just here. You know, you walk in here and you see picture frames up and you see these chairs in the corner and it seems like somebody rushed to kind of get them out of the way or they were about to be placed out here, but you know, they kind of stopped halfway. And then you also have these paintings and scaffolding in here. Like, it it feels like people were literally just here. They were about to hang these up, and they just vanished. They ran and hid. You know, this is a very common theme with, with kind of empty multiplayer maps, but, you know, it's, it's very apparent on specifically this map, and it's just, it really is such a bizarre feeling. Yeah, and once again, you have furniture kind of piled in the corner, and this beautiful tapestry. You know, once again, kind of, kind of like those images I was talking about up on the the roof, where you know it kind of looks familiar. It has all the elements and colors and shapes of something I would recognize, but you just can't really make it out.
the stone texture too. It's it's almost like trippy in the design of it. You know, it almost kind of flows in a way. You know, I don't know how well YouTube compression will will handle this, but you know, it's a very very interesting stone layout and texture. But alright, I mean, that was D.E. Piranesi. That's pretty much everything, so...